Hey, I love growing my own food and it's easier than you think. Well, this is the last of a little project that we started. The garden here is just down the street from my office. What I like to do is get my team involved to plant one of these raised beds. I love growing in raised beds. And what we have here is a really unique design. And what they've done is they've taken three plants, all edibles. We've got a crisscross here of onions, and we'll talk about those onions in just a moment. Pansies, which are edible. You can just take that little bloom and mm -mm -mm, and I only eat them when I grow them organically. And then I've got this beautiful red sail lettuce. You see, what's great about this is they'll make a beautiful mound of three big loose heads of lettuce. And when you collect this loose head lettuce, you can actually pinch off the outer leaves and eat those and not cut it like a head lettuce. So you can constantly, uh, well, harvest from this plant as you can from the pansies and certainly from the onions. Because what I've got here is a, is a beautiful uh, onion, which is a southern variety because we're down in the south. You need to know that onions respond to day length. Uh, southern varieties respond to day length that's about 10 to 12 hours. And northern varieties about 14 to 16. Now, this little guy that I've, that's been planted here, I'm gonna just pull this one up, is a, it's called a sweet red. And you can see why it's called red because it has a beautiful sort of purple color to it. And the way you plant an onion is very simple. You just stick your finger in the ground and you push the little guy in there about three quarters of an inch and just pack a little soil around it. Now you see we've got this crisscross bed and this is a four foot by four foot raised bed. It's raised up 10 inches, plenty of soil to raise onions. Now what I like to do is plant onions about two inches apart. These got planted a little further apart than I usually plant them, so I'm coming back here and just tucking in between a few more of these little onions. And the reason for that is that I like to harvest scallions or little green onions. And so what will happen here in about two weeks, as soon as uh, they get a little water and sunlight, they'll start perking up. And I can come out here and I can take out every other one and use that in cooking or making a salad or whatever, or integrating it with this red sail lettuce. And then I can let the others mature. And if you'll just begin to pull the soil back away from it, just like that gently, it'll make a really nice big red onion, a sweet red onion. If you're enjoying these tips on how to grow some of your own food, tell a friend about it and subscribe to Eat How Home.